I'm Darla Richards, and I will be reading parts of the monologue called A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen. Um, it was kind of a last minute research on why is it banned. It was actually banned in Britain because, because for two reasons, for two reasons I have been researching. The first one is the play's theme is uh, is on feminism, and two, they re the publishing company requested the author to change the ending to become a happy ending because in the original play, it was actually not a happy ending. <laughs> and this is, and I'll be playing. Um, Nora, it is perfectly true, Torvald. When I was at home with Papa, he told me his opinion about everything, and so I had the same mop, the same opinions. And if I differ from him, I conceal the fact, because he would not have liked it. He called me his doll child, and he played with me just as I used to play with my dolls. And when I came to live with you. I mean that I was simply transferred from Papa's hands into yours. You arranged everything according to your own taste. And so I got the same taste as you. Or else I, pre or else I pretended to. I am really not quite sure which. I think sometimes the one and sometimes the other. When I look back on it, it seems to me as if I had been living here like a poor woman, just from hand to mouth. I have existed merely to perform tricks for you, Torvald, but you would have it so. You and Papa have committed a great sin against me. It is your fault that I have made nothing of my life. You neither think nor talk like, a, like the man I could bind myself to. As soon as your fear was over, and it was not fair for what threatened me, but for what might happen to you. When the whole thing was passed, as far as you were concerned, it was exactly as if nothing at all had happened. Exactly as before, I was your little Skylark, your doll, which you would in a future treat with doubly gentle, gentle care, because it was so brittle and fragile, Turwald. It was then... It dawned upon me that for eight years I had been living here with a strange man and had borne him three children. Oh, I can't bear to think of it. I could tear myself into little bits. That's it.